Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my usual content. It's still going to be related to investments of course, but I wanted to go ahead and take a look at something called NFTs. NFTs have cemented themselves on the internet as both a meme and as an actual investment option for a lot of people, and as a result their influence has been pretty widespread so far. Now whether you agree with the concept of NFTs or not, there's still a lot to be said here regarding CSGO skins, and I wanted to take a look at some of the similarities and differences and maybe how CSGO could progress into the future using something like NFTs. So we'll talk about that after a quick word from our sponsor. The sponsor for today's video is ShadowPay. ShadowPay is a site that you can go to to get real money for all of your CSGO skins, and you can also buy some CSGO skins on there using real money. They have a lot of great features, the site is minimalist and easy to use, it's very trusted, secure, and fast if you want to go ahead and use their instant sell feature to instantly get cash for your skins. However, you can also use their secure extension to do a player-to-player -player trade to sell your skins that way. Their inventory of skins is absolutely massive and has much cheaper prices than the Steam community market, so if you're interested in checking out ShadowPay and want an extra 2% deposit bonus using my code, be sure to use the link in the description below. Thanks. If you're new to NFTs, it stands for non-fungible token. Basically, non-fungible token is just a fancy way to say you can't replicate the item. NFTs come in a wide variety of different forms, but one key concept is that they all have a specific and unique address linked to them that proves the ownership of that specific NFT. Some of them are just art, some of them are things in actual games built on the blockchain, and some are virtual clothing. Yeah, that's a pretty weird one. I'm not super big on NFTs myself, but I do own a few from a project called NBA Top Shot, which I think is kind of cool. However, I do know quite a bit about them, and I think the idea of NFTs in regard to how the CSGO item system currently works is a really interesting thing to talk about. So that's how this video came about. So obviously CSGO skins are not on the blockchain. You can't officially purchase them with crypto. This is probably the biggest difference between CSGO skins and NFTs, as the blockchain is an entirely separate thing from NFTs that allows them to work. Essentially it's a market infrastructure, and it's a lot more advanced than the kind of primitive community market that we have for CSGO skins. This factor is precisely why NFTs are so much more scalable than CSGO skins. It's why you see stuff like virtual racehorses and a picture of a monkey both being considered NFTs. But in the world of CSGO skins, it can only go so far, they're all still under the constraint of having to be a CSGO item. On the flip side though, since CSGO has been around for such a long time, and in-game items have been around for a long time, there's been more time for these to be integrated into actual usable things. For example, a majority of NFT projects don't really have a whole lot of complexity within them, and generally it comes down to just the ownership of a picture. However, with CSGO items, the functionality is far larger than any current NFT project. So there's some significant differences between the two. However, there is a surprisingly large amount of similarities between the two as well. For example, uniqueness is one of the most important factors of CSGO skins as well. You have things like pattern indexes, paint seeds, and float values that all make a specific CSGO skin a unique item. Similarly, there are a lot of unique qualities with NFTs. All of the art-based projects usually have a ton of different qualities that each NFT can possess, and that gives them a large amount of uniqueness there with different traits. And of course, there's the markets for NFTs and for CSGO skins. This is of course a given, but they are quite similar. People can offer on the items, and if the seller wants that offer, they can take it, and people can also, of course, just list items for sale. There's also some similarity in the form of rarity. With NFTs, some traits are more rare and desirable, and of course, with CSGO items, we have stuff like blue gems, which are a lot more rare and desirable. Even though both of these rarities fall under the same sort of category, they are specific qualities that set that specific item apart. So as you can tell, there are quite a few similarities and differences between the two categories. However, I think most importantly, there's a lot that they can learn from each other to make each other better. For example, a lot of NFTs don't have a huge use case. They can really only be put as profile pictures, for example, whereas CSGO items can actually be used in-game. There's a totally different level of usability between these two items. Some NFTs have, of course, adapted to be used in larger scale games, but a lot of these NFT projects have yet to find a good balance. Similarly, one thing that CSGO skins can definitely gain from the NFT market is the proof of ownership. There's no real dedicated infrastructure for CSGO items that's specifically focused on saying that a specific person owns that specific item. There's team inventories, of course, but imagine if CSGO items were all backed on the blockchain and they used that infrastructure for ownership. I think there'd be a lot of benefits with that, and it'd be cool to see what sites do with that infrastructure to really add some more depth to CSGO items. Do I think there's a world where CSGO items will be backed on the blockchain? Probably not. But there are a lot of companies that are diversifying into the metaverse as it's called, so I guess there is some possibility. 
seeing a bunch of crypto bros act like they know everything there is to know about CSGO items and just spending a whole bunch of money on them to really drive the market up would be nice to see because we'd gain a lot of value, but I think it would definitely dilute a lot of the enjoyment. As I spoke about briefly in my previous video, CSGO player counts and the future of it have not really been looking all that great, so maybe it's time for Valve to make a huge change like this that would bring a lot of new people into the scene. And not to jump too far away from CSGO here, but TF2 could also really use a boost. Obviously there would be a whole new set of problems and a bunch of issues to tackle for Valve as a company if they wanted to implement something like this, but the implications are pretty exciting. Speaking of implications, one of the other cool things about this would be having some sort of a cryptocurrency used to buy and sell CSGO skins. I think this would be a good way to reduce the amount of scams and to make the relationship between third-party sites and Valve a lot cleaner. Plus, obviously, there'd be a little bit more accountability in this regard. To answer the big question, what does this mean for investment potential in CSGO skins? I think entering into the metaverse in this kind of way would bode extremely well as it would allow a lot more people to enter into the scene that were more iffy on it before. There's a lot of money in the crypto world right now, so I think we'd see a big boost in prices. Plus, it would allow a lot more idiots like Lunar to enter the market. So overall, for the investment potential, things would become a lot more scarce, a lot of items would become more hoarded, and prices would obviously go up a lot. So yeah, the investment potential of something crazy like this happening would be pretty good. I also think one thing about CSGO is that they've already kind of dipped their toes into this idea of the metaverse as well, as they've had collaborations with non-gaming related things. For example, we have the music kits in CSGO, which can actually be used to affect your gameplay, and they're music kits made by artists outside of CSGO. This can be in a way considered part of the metaverse. And I think it'd be interesting to see if they expand on this in any way, shape, or form in the future, potentially with stickers related to certain brands or something of that nature. At the moment, it seems like Valve as a whole is kind of resistant to these type of changes, but it's an ever-expanding world, so things could always change. Again, I don't personally think this is going to happen anytime soon, but depending on how the metaverse shapes up, it could force Valve's hand. Now, taking a step back to NFTs specifically, I think another thing to talk about here is how collections would shape up with that sort of an infrastructure. I think this would give skin artists a much bigger profit potential if this sort of infrastructure was to be implemented, and I think that's overall really beneficial because it gives talented artists a lot bigger incentive to actually make CSGO skins. So for us, that means higher quality skins, and for the hardworking artists, that means more money. It's kind of hard to talk about the benefits of a system like this happening because it's such a new thing and there's so much room for expansion, but I just wanted to make a video kind of discussing the potential of NFTs or the blockchain kind of merging with CSGO in a way, because I think it's an interesting topic. And I'm sure you guys are going to have interesting opinions on it as well, which you can definitely share below in the comments. But on that note, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a different video, a bit of a discussion video on this topic. I know some of you were probably waiting for it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click that subscribe button for all the best CSGO investment tips in the future. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out with that algorithm. And consider checking out all the links in the description below to my Discord, Twitter, and also to Shadowpay. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time, peace.